This video is brought to you by ExxonMobil Aviation Lubricants. Eclipse Aviation had a little surprise for everyone at an early morning press conference during AirVenture Oshkosh 2007. Welcome. I'm Peg Bilson, Chief Operating Officer of Eclipse Aviation, and we really appreciate, appreciate you join us, joining us this morning. After diverting everyone's attention with a fuselage mock-up, Bilson let loose the real reason we were there. Ladies and gentlemen, Vern Rayburn and the Eclipse Concept Jet. The Eclipse Concept Jet, we were told, was built in just 200 days and developed to test for Eclipse, the single-engine jet market. While being tested, the aircraft exists as a concept vehicle only and may never see production. But we would soon learn that the all-aluminum prototype has logged about 30 hours since its first flight on July 2nd and has ultimate performance goals of 345 knots and 41,000 feet with a 2,000-pound useful load and 1,250 nautical mile range. Company head Vern Rayburn would soon step from the aircraft's cockpit to offer more about the new design. <laughs> Morning. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Rayburn said the new jet shares about 60% commonality with its larger Eclipse 500 sibling and offered these comments. So think of this as, if you will, a, a BMW 3 Series or a, you know, Infiniti G35, a, a car in that type of category. Uh, it's very flexible. It's got a large four occupant cabin. No illusions about being five or six or seven. It's a four place airplane. Turns out there's an awful lot of four place airplanes over the years that have sold really, 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 really well. So we think it's a sweet spot in the marketplace. It's going to have great internal and external baggage. You can see the access hatch on it. So you can put golf clubs, skis into this airplane. In other words, we're really approaching this from a standpoint of this is a personal aircraft. And it's going to have the very simple operating characteristics that we've really pioneered and we're demonstrating today with the Eclipse 500. So it's going to perform like a jet. This is not a turboprop aircraft with a jet engine on it. We see speeds in the 340 knot range, altitude of 41,000. And that's an important point because we really do reject the concept that somehow or another operating at 25,000 feet is inherently safer and operating at 41,000. Let me tell you, 3,000 hours of flying pressurized piston engine and turboprop aircraft at 25,000 feet. And there have been many days, including earlier this month when I flew back to Virginia to chase on the very first flight of this aircraft, um, I wish I could have been at 35,000 feet instead of in the clack trying to avoid embedded thunderstorms with whatever tools I have at my disposal, be it XM or, or weather radar. So we really see this as an aircraft with immense flexibility. Now on the other end of the scale, I flew the aircraft yesterday down from Central Wisconsin Airport at 7,500 feet VFR and we were burning exactly 400 pounds an hour. So this is a very, very, very fuel efficient engine without the normal penalties that you see at, at high altitudes. So we've designed this aircraft to operate throughout the normal region that you would see in jets. Um, we're also taking some other non-standard approaches. If you haven't had a chance... That efficient engine Rayburn referred to is Pratt & Whitney Canada's PW610F, and the non-standard approaches he spoke of are clear in the company's approach to the aircraft's panel layout, but particularly in the throttle quadrant. The throttle in this aircraft works like a volume knob. Turn it up, and things get loud. Turn it down, and things get quiet. This is a different approach than that seen inside Eclipse's only current offering, the Eclipse 500. That aircraft, seen here, includes a more familiar or perhaps old-fashioned throttle. So, is it the way of the future for Eclipse? Time will tell, but we'll all be watching.